I'm sitting outside the court building here in Bendigo. It's all right, I'm not in trouble. Uh, but as you can see, I'm wearing a mask because I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, does that make me a legalist, I wonder? We're going to talk more about that this weekend, about legalism. And I also think of Jeremiah 17, verse 1, where it says that uh, the sins of Israel are written with an iron pen, with a diamond point. And that makes me think of uh, the Ten Commandments, uh, written there on stone. How do you carve something on stone? It's with something harder than stone, like uh, iron or diamond. And yet, it's the sins that we're told are carved with an iron pen. And it's, it's in that same chapter, it talks about uh, the, the people's hearts, our hearts, being desperately wicked. And so I think about what that means, what that means for us, that uh, our breaking of the law is something that we can't change. It's, it's something immovable, just as the law itself is immovable. We need something stronger something more powerful, uh, something of iron, something of diamond. Uh, the same sort of thing that can make the law can also save us from its condemnation. But there's a lot of complexity to this idea about the law because some people say we don't need to keep the law. Other people say uh, we don't need to keep God's law but we do need to keep certain other laws. And yet again, you know, sometimes there are good things that we know we should do. And should we make that something that we make law when God hasn't explicitly said it in the Bible? Um, there's a lot of things that the Bible hasn't explicitly condemned that are bad, that, you know, it's, it's good that we don't do. And, you know, there's a lot of things the Bible doesn't explicitly tell us to do that we should do. And yet again, there are things that are in the Bible that had a historical context that we don't need to keep today. Um, you can find out more about this when we do our full live stream and Bible study um, on uh, Bendigo SDA Live uh, on the topic of who are legalists. So I look forward to seeing you there. What does the lion represent? And what does the umbrella represent? Don't forget to subscribe if you want to get notified when we go live. See you then.